Hello, you fantastically wonderful humans. Let's get into this last lesson on volume, eighth grade volume. So, yes, we are staying true to this teak of 8.7a. However, we're solving problems involving the volume of spheres. So we're going to substitute in known values into the proper formula for a sphere and solve. So our last vocab, I'm sure you've already filled in, but I just want to point out, is sphere, a 3D figure with all points the same distance from the center. So they're equal distance from the center point, which makes a perfect sphere. The formula we're dealing with is the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed or 4 pi r cubed all over 3. So go to your last page. And you should already have this memorized because you've already written it twice. But a volume, a volume, volume is the amount of space an object takes up or occupies. The amount inside it takes up or occupies, I guess. Um, so like the amount of air in a beach ball. Because a beach ball is a sphere. A sphere, spherical, spherical? I don't think that's a word. It's a sphere. Um, our formula, we tend to rewrite it as 4 times pi times r cubed all over 3. Um, mostly, it's just easier to put into the calculator. It's less buttons because you'll just type in 4 pi r cubed into the calculator and then divide by 3. Uh, or, you know, shoot, you could, I guess you could do the whole thing. It's just a lot of buttons. Anyway, um, we have volume, V for volume, equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, and R is for radius. So please notice that the only piece of information I need to solve any volume of sphere is the radius. That is the only thing I'm looking for. So we are going to set up a T-chart and write the formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Then we're going to determine the radius or the diameter, but clearly if we're given the diameter, we're just going to cut that guy in half. Hopefully mentally, because, you know, we're smart and we can do that. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, you know, these spheres uh, are not prisms or pyramids. Like, they are their own classification because, well, it is its own classification, a sphere. Just like, you know, cube. We use cubes to, and we are going to use cube because it's cubic distance or cubic volume. Uh, but anyway, long-winded for me saying that we are going to do a, uh, I'm just going to call us, Circuit circle sphere. Circle sphere. So I'm still going to draw my circle on this side, right? And still pull out my volume, pull out my information. But on this side is where I'm going to have my volume formula for a sphere. So four thirds pi r cubed. All right, it goes all the way across, which means d is for diameter, which mental math we should be able to tell that. Radius is two. That's it, that's all I need. I just need my radius because I'm gonna immediately then plug it into my volume formula. Four thirds pi times two cubes. You should be able to do two cubes in your head. No, it is not six. But really you just plug the whole thing in your calculator. It's eight because two times two is four times two is eight. Um, but it should come out to roughly 33.5 meters cubed. Oh, that did not make a pretty box like all the others. There we go. Um, yeah, easy, right? So I feel like you guys can do example two and three on your own, to be honest. We have a circle sphere. Draw my circle. Pull out my known information. It looks like it's only going halfway, which means radius equals six. Pull out my... Formula, four pi r cubed all over three, plug in six for radius. So four, six cubed, which I believe to be 216 if I'm not wrong. Six times six is 36 times six. I'm pretty sure, yes, 216. In any case, we can just plug that into the calculator all together as it is. And we should get 904.8 meters cubed. If you guys have not already moved on 
and started to get ahead, you really should be doing that anyway. Because I just feel like if you're working ahead, then you're constantly checking your thinking and not just copying, which I feel like is a lazier form of thought. Because you want to try to come up with your own thoughts, right? All right, example three, uh, word problem. Yay, word problems. So a giant beach ball, which I know to be a sphere. It's a circle sphere. Even though there can't be any other types of spheres. Uh, this seven is diameter. So this seven goes all the way across, which means radius has to be half that. And half of 70 is 35, so half of seven is 3.5. And I'm trying to figure out the volume. Four thirds pi r cubes. So now I've got four thirds pi r 3.5 cubes. Volume should equal, and you should already have the answer because you like to work ahead because you actually know what you're doing now. 179.6 feet cubed. Yay! I love easy stuff. How easy is that? All you have to do is find the radius, plug it in, boom, done. Man, math is cool when you get it. All right, so this reference chart should look super familiar by now because we're going to start our dump sheets and we like to actually be able to use the tools that are given to us. We want to do really well on this. You guys are amazing. Ask your teacher if you need help.